Hey everybody, Scott Sprancher here, DocSports.com. It is our update for Monday, March 30th, 2020. We're going to keep talking about NFL teams and the previews for the 2020 season on this particular report. We'll keep doing that every other day uh, throughout the course of the summer until we get some other sports to talk about. We'll keep going on in the NFL, and of course, I'll update these when we get closer to an actual NFL season. Uh, but what I'm going to do is stick in the same divisions now until we complete those divisions. We've done three teams, two of them in the same division, so we're going to stay there. Talk about the New Orleans Saints in just a minute. Hey, first, a couple of quick notes in case you haven't heard the updates. Here's what's going on. The EPL, the English Premier League, is talking about basically sequestering their teams into two or three locations in England and then finishing out the season, uh, which is kind of something I've been talking about on all the radio shows I've done since the NBA postponed their season a couple of weeks ago. I've talked about it on Mad Dog Radio, v local Las Vegas radio, uh, that if we can get, you know, maybe four spots around the United States where you can sequester the NBA teams and have, you know, potentially four or five games in one arena per day, of course, no fans in attendance, then maybe we can jumpstart this a little bit quicker uh, than most people are thinking. Now, again, we just need one sport to be able to figure out a way to do this. And if the EPL uh, gets underway soon, that might be just the sport, uh, a marquee type of sport, uh, where the NBA will start looking to do the same. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Let's keep hoping. And, and of course, as we say to all you guys, man, let's stay healthy. Let's do our part. Vegas went all in, obviously, in shutdown mode, all in to do our part to get over this thing and, and, and help slow the spread. And uh, as of right now, as you've heard, Vegas is still shut down. They've now talked about going through April into the 1st of May, April 30th, the shutdown both uh, are in Las Vegas, I should say, and then they'll reassess around April 30th and decide what we're going to do. So let's keep hoping for the best news, and I hope you guys all stay safe. But uh, as far as everything that's going on, listen, we had two horse races we talked about on the free video for Saturday for the Florida Derby. Uh, two, two win bets, a pair of them, and uh, one of them did win. And as you saw, the favorite, we talked about it being the best horse, and it went on to a relatively easy win and that's kind of what I do with my horse racing I don't get crazy I don't have exactas and trifectas and all that kind of stuff too often I like to look at matchups when they're made available and I like to play to win or sometimes win play show that kind of stuff so listen if we decide to jump into horse racing daily then I'll definitely let you know I'm gonna think about it over the next day or so and by Wednesday's video we'll definitely let you know if we're gonna be involved in horse racing uh, as far as your horse racing needs I do know there's a couple of the guys over at DocSports.com who are offering horse racing. I know there's at least one guy who's offering Nicaraguan soccer, so check that out. I'm only going to, like those guys are, I'm only going to really talk about or bet sports that I have already bet before in my life, like Aussie rules football. I'm not going to come up and bet something, some far off soccer league that I've never followed before uh, just to have action. That's not the way we do things. And uh, so you'll see as we move forward, I'm going to look into those. I've looked into Belarus soccer a little bit, uh, but uh, definitely going to possibly jump into horse racing. And again, mine are real simple. They're to win bets, maybe win play show bets every once in a while and exacta, exacta, excuse me, but rarely anything more than that. All right, that's enough talk. Let's get to our New Orleans Saints preview for the 2020 campaign. And of course, as far as the free agents who have signed, you already knew about Drew Brees, two years, 50 million bucks. Obviously an A grade across the board when it comes to Drew Brees. Uh, they signed Emmanuel Sanders, and you know how well he did what he meant to the San Francisco 49ers this past season. They signed him to a two-year, $16 million deal. I think that's right up there, B plus, A minus, as far as the grade for that one is concerned, because he'll now be the number two behind Michael. Thomas. I think that's a nice addition, even at his age, for talking about uh, Emmanuel Sanders, of uh, bringing him in. And I don't think they pay too much. I know some folks who analyze $16 million for two years thinks they pay too much. I don't believe so. I think he's going to be great. Nice compliment for Michael Thomas. When you look at what Emmanuel Sanders can do in this offense, I mean, he brings great route running. I mean, he's as good as it gets when it comes to running routes. And that's exactly what this team can use uh, when you got a burner, a, a great a receiver like Michael Thomas on the other side of the field. Uh, they signed a safety by the name of Michael Jenkins. Eh, yeah, 
at 50-50, C plus, B minus, uh, he is starting to, you can see his skills were diminishing last year uh, with the Eagles. So I know they need to shore up that defensive backfit a little bit. Not crazy about that signing, but he wants to be in the Big Easy. He's been there before. Uh, they do have needs at inside linebacker, so we'll probably see them go that route in the draft. Uh, they could use a corner. There's no doubt about that. They got their safety. Now go out and get a solid corner in the draft. Wide receiver depth we just talked about. It's solid for the Saints, and I think you might even see this team eventually trade out of the first round. It could happen with the Saints for what they've done so far in uh, free agency, but I do know uh, that that inside linebacker out of LSU is a player that uh, Sean Payton and the New Orleans Saints really do like, so he might end up a Saint if they can get him in the right position. And listen, when I talk about this team, we already knew last year they're top five in offensive DVOA. Uh, they were top half of the league in defensive DVOA, and the couple of things that I mentioned that they had not have to shore up, they've kind of started to already with Emmanuel Sanders, and uh, to an extent on the defensive side of the football so certainly I don't see a big drop off by any means by this team at all uh, when you look at their over under wins total right now uh, you're looking at 10 which was the same over under wins total uh, that was set before last season it's minus a buck 30 on the over uh, they did win 13 games last year I don't think they'll get that high as far as wins uh, but I think 11 is not out of the question 11 and 5 uh, you know about their division obviously home and road games against you know Falcons Panthers um, Tampa Bay and it is a tough division. There's no doubt about it. Falcons are going to be better. You heard my uh, analysis on that team. Tampa Bay is going to be better. You heard my analysis on that team. If you haven't yet, check out the videos if you wish. Out of the conference, they are going to have games at Detroit, uh, at Denver, at Chicago. Uh, home games out of divisional play will come against Green Bay, Minnesota, uh, Kansas City, the Chargers the Niners, and then, of course, other road games outside of the division against both the Raiders and the Eagles. Uh, of course, the dates are not set up yet, and we'll see if the NFL plays a full season. There's some talk that they might eliminate three games and go to a 14-game schedule in 2020 due to the virus. We'll wait and see. But if those are the teams they're playing, then obviously I think they've got a shot at 11 wins. Not enough wiggle room off that 10. I don't think they're going to get to 13, even if they play a full 17-week, 16-game season. Uh, but again, I think they'll be right at 11 wins. My, my best suggestion I can make on the Saints as I preview their upcoming season is not to play the under, which is, again, 10 in most spots. So there's your New Orleans Saints preview. We think they get to 11 wins this year, and uh, we'll close out this division with our next video on Wednesday with the Carolina Panthers. And uh, again, listen, if you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. I'll let you know by Wednesday if we're going to get involved on an almost daily basis with horse racing. I'll definitely let you know that. We'll let you know if there's any more news coming out of Las Vegas. Click on that thumbs up button if you like the videos or be sure to subscribe. Then you'll know exactly when I'm putting out these videos. And uh, again, man, we just wish every one of you can stay healthy. Certainly do your best to stay healthy and uh, best of health to all your families. I'm Scott Sprites of DocSports.com. We'll be right back here by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific at the very latest talking about those Carolina Panthers on Wednesday.